Good morning, my name is Steven. And I'm Jalen. And welcome to the Disney Dream. 4,000 passengers could possibly be on board, 129,000 tons with 14 decks. We are excited to be aboard the Disney Dream all for Marvel Day at Sea. Our first ever Marvel Day at Sea. We did Star Wars Day at Sea last year, but this time it's Marvel. I am such a huge Marvel fan. Only have been for about a year and a half, but I'd say that I've already beat out Steven in Marvel fan on this adventure we'll be aboard for five nights aboard the Disney Dream. First day is going to be in Castaway Key tomorrow and then after we'll be doing the Marvel Day at Sea celebration. So we got a lot in store for us. We're going to go ahead and get aboard this beautiful ship. For those of you just joining us along our adventure, we've been doing a few side by side by side cruises, which means we went from one ship to the next ship to the next ship. We just got off of MSC Davina literally like 20 minutes ago. We walked all the way over from Terminal E to Terminal C. Uh, it's a couple terminals away, not that bad of a walk, not as bad as when we went from Freedom of the Seas all the way down to MSC Davina. And before that, we did Celebrity Summit. So we've been here in Miami for a little bit doing a few different adventures, which I'm really excited to say we don't get to do something like this all the time. This has definitely been a very blessed trip. Yes. And uh, we, get to, we get to finish it off with the wonderful finale aboard the Disney Dream, which I am like, just now in pure darkness. Yeah, I'm like, get out, get out of the space. So I'm really excited to say that we get to finish off the entire adventure aboard the Disney Dream, like the great finale. Something we've been looking forward to the entire time, but not all the ships were as bad as you might think they are when you compare it to Disney. They actually do very well compete. Join us on all those other adventures, check them out and see what we thought, because trust me, we really did love each and every cruise line. Each cruise line is unique. Everyone's got their own style and each one of them are great in their own way, but we're excited to get on Disney. Also, one thing I wanted to mention, or one thing Jalen wanted to mention. My friend Dory is actually joining us for this cruise. This will be like her 46th or something like that cruise. Uh, so she will be joining us in our cabin. Yeah. Yeah. So we get the expertise of a Disney fanatic. I love it. Yes. Hey, hey, it's Dory. time to go. Also, hi Dory from behind. Because she did port transfers from her hotel. We uh, got an earlier boarding time. So yeah. now, and boarding group. Yeah, and, and boarding, boarding group. We were like boarding group 11 and all the way at 12. So we've moved up in the world. Yeah. So That's what happens when you add a friend there, to there's the a res little, reservation at the last minute. There's a little, what's that What's that called? Like a little like life hack. If yeah. you got a really late boarding time and you want to get there early, just add transportation. Pay, yeah, just pay for transportation and you're set. So we just want to let you know that once you check in, they give you this little code thing it's your key to the, it's your replacement for the key to the world it also yeah. has your boarding group number so which is weird because you have it digitally but here they they print it out and make you use the paper one rather than the, the digital one so i thought that's interesting don't lose it that's right good morning good morning good morning america welcome to disney we are all on a dream and we're going to take off like none other i'm your people's champ and welcome welcome to the dream awesome that's Jacob, the gatekeeper. He is yes. so awesome. One of the greatest greeters that we've ever seen. And his birthday's on Christmas. And his birthday's on Christmas. So if you ever see him on Christmas, uh, make sure you bring him a gift. That's right, that's <laughs> right. I ain't picky. <laughs> there they are, the family of the day. The first ones to go aboard the Disney Dream. Oh, what a spectacular day. But you know what? After hearing the family of the day, that means that our number is not too far away. Number two. All we have to do is wait for all the sweet class people. Yeah, all the concierge. All those that paid more money than us. They just let us on. We are actually like the first, first ones in boarding ones. We get to lead the line. Look at everyone come by. Look at I, one of the strangest experiences I've ever had. Nobody in front of us. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. The first steps aboard the Disney Dream. Oh my gosh. To Brian right Thank over you. here. Of course, welcome board, everyone. Board. Do you have a family name I can introduce you with? Good morning, adventures. Good morning, adventures. Yes. Love it. All right. Welcome, Dory. Disney Dream, please welcome the board. Good morning, adventures. <laughs> Mickey's up there. Oh my gosh. I'm, I know we get greeted by Mickey all the time, but it's so happy every time. Look at the chandelier! <laughs> so pretty! I know I'm starving. Let's go get food. <laughs> go to the dining room with us. Oh well. 
You, you don't want to do dining? I'll meet you there. Bye. You're lame. Bye. The elevators just wait for you, but they're all open. When you're the first one aboard, they all wait for you. They're all open. I'm sorry, I'm really happy. One thing I want to mention is this is my first time walking onto a Disney cruise and they don't push you to the muster station. Oh, that's so true. Why is because that? Oh man, I'm so sad to say this. They have gone back to the old traditional style of doing muster stations. Meaning at 4.30, we're gonna all have to meet and assemble to do it. Everyone? Everybody. At the same time? At the exact same time. Why? No phone. Everyone goes and we all will check in. More on that at 4.30, but now let's go to lunch. Yes, I'm starving. But oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be aboard. We found Dory again. She's come back from the buffet with, what did you get? Mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. No Very chicken healthy. tender and no plain pasta. They didn't have plain pasta. We have to change it up every once in a while, I suppose. Yeah. Smoked salmon, Welcome first smoked bite. Salmon. We love smoked salmon. Welcome to the Pirate Buffet. <laughs> I want to note that like a year and a half ago when Jalen went on our first cruise, she did not like salmon at all. I did not even like cooked fish, nonetheless raw fish. And now, I mean smoked salmon's cooked because it's smoked, but now I literally love raw fish. Proof that Taste can change. Oh, I got the salmon salad. Normally, this is what I get on boarding day lunch. We swapped. And he's, uh, we usually order the exact opposite. Usually, she gets the salmon, and I get beef the tenderloin. Meat, beef tenderloin. I just really wanted the salmon, though. I don't really care for the salad. I'm going to eat his salad. It's nice every once in a while to have a salmon that's actually cooked well <gasps> and it? flavored. Yeah, it's not dry. It's Normally, fantastic. it's overcooked it's for me. It's totally overcooked here, but it's really good. All right, we got the beef tenderloin, and there's actually au jus here. Normally, like, I don't know, I feel like so many times we can't have the gravy, so it's normally just plain. This looks so good. This beef tenderloin is so tender, so flavorful, it's actually amazing. This is so good. Steven wanted me to share with him, I probably will not. That's fine, you're not getting any of this. <gasps> no! Alrighty, so we just got out of Animator's Pellet for lunch, and this was the first time I have ever asked for a head server to make a complaint. A formal complaint, mind you, but I don't know if it'll be taken serious at all. We waited from the time our entrees were cleared 30 minutes before we received desserts. Now I understand, we have allergies. It happens. It takes longer than others. But 30 minutes and we got sorbet and a cake. Hey. Sorbet does not How take 30 minutes. Cake? And she didn't even get cake. How about sorbet? I was so. literally telling Dory, like, I'm sick of getting sorbet. I'm so excited for Disney because I know I won't just get sorbet. Like, I can get sorbet in the, in the buffet. I go to main dining so I can get real dessert. And that's what I expect from Disney. Every yeah. single time I've never been disappointed by a dessert from Disney. I was really furious. Uh, I'm still a little mad. Uh, We'll recover from it, obviously. We're not going to let we're, that we're ruin our entire it cruise. It off, it but it's, it's like, it's moments like this where it really ruined us for Celebrity Summit, so... And it really I mean, sucks because it is the first day. That obviously, we can't... That's our very ship. first impression We've of the ship. We've never been on this ship before. We've and, never... And it's really, really slow service. And there were other people who took quite a while as well. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, it was the entire service. It was the appetizers, the entrees. But it really pushed us over with those desserts. It took Thirty minutes because what we wanted to do was we Sudoku. wanted to we wanted to run to trivia, so I I knew what time Dory had left early five minutes before the trivia started, and at, that was at twelve fifty five, and we're finally leaving the dining room at twelve four or one forty. I mean, so it was yeah. not That's a great not, good. not a great start. But like I said, this it's moments like this that really ruined us for Celebrity Summit. So I'm not going to be easy on Disney at this point because it's just that's just they, that's unacceptable. No, they can do better at we the very least enough with at Disney. the very least i should have been reassured once or twice about dessert we got it once well, or like not even once our server did isn't even the one that brought it to us no it was our, our assistant we server. Didn't see our server i complained to our assistant server that we hadn't gotten dessert so he said he would go check for us and he brought and it he for got us. it for us our, i our, talked to our server we would once have been waiting longer our so. server i mean he never came and checked on us he we saw him maybe twice during the entire he month. took our order and then yeah, everything and was else it. was the assistant so shout so, out to Michael, thank you so much for taking care of us. Yes. Alrighty. Off to a good start from the dining room. We, we found, found Ariel. Ariel. Wait, let me I have a little time. Let me put down my backpack so I can see her there. Oh, she's gone. Oh, 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 never mind. Okay. Alright, well, is this video gonna be tired titled Worst Disney Cruise Line Boarding Day Ever? Oh, let's just go to the room. We're gonna head over to the cabin so we can drop off our backpacks because these are heavy. Oh, I just remembered. We did a guarantee, so we're not by the elevators. Yeah, we have no idea where we are. Steven really always sign. books us by the elevators. 
I remember looking on the map on at our room number, and we're like pretty far down the hallway. Oh, Dory waited for us. We love Dory. She just sat on the outside waiting for us to show up. What if we never came? Yeah, what if we just didn't oh, come? You said you were coming. That's <laughs> true. Oh, right. We got our room keys. So this is the first time I've ever had three cards in one envelope. Dory, Steven, and Jalen. But Steven doesn't get his. Yay. We got our cards. Our seat room attendant still has to do one more thing in there before we Sorry, go in. Just a few minutes. Oh, no worries. All right. Yay. Let's go check out our room. 7626. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. This thing is huge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Okay. I know, but this thing's huge. Look at the desk, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Bang, 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 bang. There's so much things. Wow, I can, really I can like lay on this. Out. <laughs> yeah. I can literally lay on this. Oh, not as pretty of a view down there. Oh. Yeah, we're still kind of blocked by the lifeboats, but not really. Oh yeah, not as pretty of a view. Oh yeah, well, this is the first time we've been on this side, huh? Yeah, we've always been on the opposite on the side opposite of where we port. That's okay. It all looks the same when you're in the ocean. Voila. We're here in the front of the cabin because we're going to do a minute room tour. But no. we're going to add 30 seconds because this room is so gosh darn big. There ain't no way we're getting this in 30 seconds. I mean, in a minute or a minute 30. Doesn't matter what combination of it. There's so much to talk about in this cabin. So let's begin. We start all the way over in the beginning. Of course, the safety spiel all right there. Closet space. Lots and lots of closet so space. So big. Lots Safe of life right jackets. Safe right there. Life jackets up lots there. Lots of shelving. A third closet. Whoa, Second closet. For little kids, there's some life vest. Over here is the first bathroom. That's right. Disney has two bathrooms. One sink, one toilet, a mirror to get ready as well. Then the second bathroom. One sink, one shower that has a rain head, and then uh, your regular shower as well. A perfect place to sit down on, and then it's a really cool circular place. Also, it's like really big. I just wanted to say that. There's okay. a lot of space. Move on! Ah, the main room. There's an outlet over there with an American and international. <laughs> Jalen's on the bed. It, it does not split. It's just one queen bed, but very comfortable nevertheless. Yes. Phone, couch does turn into a bed. Bunk bed that does pull down. Table space. Oh my gosh, the table space is, is ridiculous. You have a TV right over there. You have a mini fridge that's empty. Lots and lots and lots of drawer space. Very big drawers. You have two plugs and another international. I still don't know what the heck they're called. I don't know. This bed pulls down right here. Murphy bed. More drawer space over here. Cups. The main attraction, the balcony. Pretty standard size balcony with a chair, a table, and another chair. Look at that view though of Miami. And time. What are we at? One forty-four. That's not bad. I think we did like a twelve-second intro. So. So did did something that we made. I think the we time? made. I think we made time. Did we? Oh gosh! If you want the full detailed room tour, we did a full detailed room tour. It is going to be linked down below or up in the top left or top right. Um, make sure to check that out. And uh, if you're interested in booking a cabin on board Disney. Check out GoodMorningAdventure.com because that's uh, we're travel agents, and the best thing about travel agents is that we—I mean, all travel agents—but we are free, so it's no additional cost to you. We can help you out, and as you can tell, we're quite knowledgeable. If we can get this entire cabin in a minute thirty, so let's go ahead and enjoy the rest of the ship because, well, there's a lot on the Disney Dream. Let's go so see. So much. So something that we've been doing on all our cruises, but we had just kind of not mentioned on any of them, except on Disney, it's kind of like a tradition. So we had to mention on Disney is the door magnets. And look at all the designs that Jalen has come together to put on this wonderful door. This is the most filled door we have ever had, and I am so excited about that. We have ones from old cruises, from new cruises, um, our new logos, because we did go through a name change very recently. Um, all of our stuff, and then all of our little, because it's Marvel Day at Sea, we have all of our little Marvel characters. I love it, this looks so good. And of course, business cards. So hopefully people grab them. Yeah, if you did, hi, thank you for grabbing them. Appreciate it. All right, we are going into the D Lounge for Disney trivia, our first trivia aboard the Disney Cruise and definitely will not be our last. We love trivia. It's just, it's what we do. Let's go do this one. Come on in and join in. We are about to get started with Disney trivia. Ready, set, trivia, let's go. Okay, question number one, what is the name of 
the captain of the guard in the hunchback of Notre Dame. 20 or more? Woo! 21? Woo! 22? Woo! 23? Woo! Has anyone got some scissors? <laughs> 24? Woo! 25? Woo! Wait, how many teams got 25 out of 25? One team, two teams, three teams, four teams got 25 out of 25? No way. Well, do you know what? That is incredible. And I don't have one. So, uh, make I one. think, I think, make, one. Tie make a tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah. tiebreaker. Oh, you one. want a, you want a tie, you want me to make a tiebreaker question? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, okay, great. Uh, yeah, like, when's my birthday? Do you know that one? That's, when's no. my birthday? Something to do, oh, something to do with Disney. Do you know what? I work for Disney. Does the Tower of so Terror go down No, I'm just yesterday. kidding. I think it's the first day of the cruise. You're on vacation. Okay, I'm going to give a winning team to the medallion. Congratulations! Yeah. 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 We actually won our first ever medallions. Well, actually, this is my second medallion, but our first trivia medallion, which is Donald Duck. It was a really easy trivia. I don't like it that it's multiple choice because that just yeah. makes it way it's, too easy because yeah, it helps us narrow down narrow a lot down. of the answers. Anyways, it's now time for assembly station time. Yay! Ooh, look at that. On our way to our assembly station. We'll check back after we're done. Okay, so we just got done with our assembly station drill, which, Jalen, that was your first ever, like, traditional assembly station. That's how they used to do it before the pandemic. If you've seen, like, all our videos or any videos, or if you've been on a cruise in the last two years, you probably have not seen this at all. <laughs> oh my god. I do not recommend it. I mean, you have to do it. It's mandatory. If you go on Disney, you don't have a choice. But I hope no one else brings this back or maybe Disney gets rid of it again because it is absolute chaos. The crowds after the station, like during the station, it was bad because the sun was so hot. We weren't in the shade, like I was literally gonna get sunburnt. And then once the drill was finally over, everyone it's just a sea of people COVID's definitely not a thing i understand why they took it away when covid was still strong because you are too crowded with too many people we just got the deck eleven. oh my gosh are we gonna get a spot i hope are we even going to the right deck should we go up one more i don't know oh, we can use the stairs out here Sailing away. Sailing, sailing away. away. Sorry, I see ice cream. Uh, we made it to Vanellope's, but more on that in a moment. Sailing away. Did you like it? I, I didn't see much. Oh, of it. it was so cool. I really liked it because it like it wasn't super long. It, well, it was only like 15 minutes, which is a little too short. But it wasn't like too long. Sometimes I feel like they just drag on. And um, which I've, actually makes me wonder why can't we make it 4:45 instead of 4:30? And so 4:30, right. yeah. Because we're not even like like sailing away yet. I, we probably won't sail away for a minute. So, anyways, it was really good. I really like. I want to like... acknowledge something. The huh? Disney, the Dream, played a different horn than what they normally play. Yeah, yeah. it played. It's just the ship. Yes, it did. A Dream is a wish your heart makes instead of when you wish upon a star, which was really cool. And then the party was really cool. I like that. Like each character got their own little like time, but then they all come out together. And yeah, it was really good. It's really hot outside. So now we're gonna cool off with some ice cream from Vanellope's Sweet Ooh. Treats. Sweets and treats. Do you wanna say they have stuff? gelato, ice cream, and candy and cookies, that kind of stuff. And they have plant-based, which is non-dairy ice cream. Not only that, they have cookies and cream, which yes, 
please. So we're just trying to decide how many scoops we want right now. Or if we should go ahead and get the car or the trophy. Not the trophy. Not the trophy? <laughs> nah, I want the trophy. Hi. I'm so happy. The scoops of ice cream are, I'm not even joking, this big each. We got two scoops, it was $5. And it literally fills up like, this is so heavy. It fills up, this is a 12 ounce cup. There's no space in here. This is full. These ice creams are both so good. We got the vegan chocolate and the plant-based cookies and cream. I'm not sure why one's vegan and one's plant-based, but she confirmed that they're both non-dairy. Cross-contamination occurs, of course, but not a big deal. Mm. That's the cookies and cream. So good. This is like the, the creamiest non-dairy ice cream I've ever had. I swear, this is the best ice cream I've ever had. Steven, dig in. Well, while we were eating ice cream, we have like completely left the port of Miami, and I just wanted to say goodbye one last time. We'll see you in Miami next time, and I hope we don't see you anytime soon, because this is it. It's been an amazing adventure so far, and we still have five beautiful nights. Oh, I think we just missed it. We came out to see the pilot boat because we've seen the pilot boat the last two sailings. Oh, that's true. He might be pulling up just right now. This is such a cool thing. If you don't know about pilot boats and how they help us navigate out of channels of different ports, you gotta do some research because this is a really cool thing. Literally, a pilot hopped on our ship when we left Miami, and now they're gonna get off the ship because they're not gonna stay with us. They gotta help the next cruise ship leave or be done for the day because I think we're like the last oh, ship. Kind of see it. Ship's definitely slowing down even more. Oh god. You can feel it slow down. Okay, oh there he is. Look. This guy he's jumping. Oh he jumped. He jumped from this cruise to that. Thank you! I think we've seen that pilot boat like three times in our adventures through Miami. First time on Celebrity, second time on Royal. I don't think we'll ever get bored of that. That is such a spectacular job. I mean, pilots are it's, so cool. I, I just love that they like literally take a ladder off the side of the boat, like a rope ladder, off the side of the boat, the side of the ship and jump onto a little boat. Especially this one. The the boat like had kind of gone away from the ship because normally it stays up to the ship yeah, and you just they, walk off. They kind of, they this one he actually bit. had to jump. That was Yeah, there was a there's Oh <laughs> And we're okay, on Disney. Goodbye Miami. Bye. We gotta get to the show. We'll see you real soon. We gotta go to Golden Mickey's. Golden Mickey's They're filming the beginning. That's kinda cool. I wish we had time, but we gotta go get a seat. That's, I think, the beginning of Golden Nikki's. But they haven't done that because of the pandemic, but I think that's how they started. Okay, so we just got done watching Golden Mickey's, a spectacular show, actually. I really appreciated this one. Of course, they fire off the Golden Mickey's confetti at the end. The Golden Mickey's is like an award, so, an award show, like it's a review-style show, basically highlighting some of the best of uh, what Disney has to offer. They do such a good job with it. All the performances were so cool. Like, so anyways, there's characters in the air, there's characters dancing, and all kinds of stuff. You have to see it. Do not miss out on any of the shows on Disney. Anyways, off probably to dinner, but I don't know. I just want to mention, I came back to the room and look at we found a crab. Also, I talked to our stateroom host and he's so nice. He set up all three beds for us. So whatever configuration we want to figure out, we have it. So like we mentioned earlier, there's a bunk bed. There's a bed that pulls out from the couch or converts from a couch. And then there's the Murphy bed. So three twin beds and one queen bed. There's so much space in this cabin. Perfect for families. I can I cannot believe how much space there was. When we walked in, total shock. Still shocking every time we walk in. I mean, ugh. Uh, anyways, I came back to the cabin. I'm going to take care of all the shopping stuff while the girls go out and do... Well, I don't know really what they're going to do. But I'm sure we'll hear about it later. Or if we don't, we'll just be at dinner. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm just happy to be aboard. So happy to be aboard. And, um... I'm gonna go buy my ship model. That's that's the goal. We're gonna get the card linked and get the ship model. Goal for the day, because you know what? Disney has a ship model. <sighs> Adding to the collection every single cruise, except for the ones that don't have it, but let's not talk about those cruises. Okay, mission success. We did get the, uh, the ship model. Just wanted to drop this off to the cabin. I wanted to record earlier, but 
it's like trying to dodge around here i mean oh my gosh it's fun it's it's kind of awesome i love that cruising is back but stairs are my worst enemy we found Jalen, and now it's Hi. time to do photos they make hot chocolate in coke cafe and they make it non-dairy and if you put hazelnut syrup in it, it's really, 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 really good. So while I was running around the entire ship, this is what you were up to, getting coffee? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. It was so yummy. Their, their tea lattes are not good at all. This was a much better upgrade. Welcome to Royal Palace. For dinner, by the way. They all look so know. fancy. I know, I, I feel so underdressed. Yeah, I do. Is this the only time we do this for fun? No, we get this for fun twice, right? Yep, at the end. Okay, so we can dress up the next time. Because I wanted to wear my, our Marble Day stuff. We're so cute. Also, we got all of our photos taken. Hopefully they look really good. I think that they do. We took some really funny ones with the glass slipper. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for the camera. It's mac and cheese. I just love that it came like that. It's not the first time. With Maybe the you broccoli. Like that a piece of broccoli and carrot. It really gets you okay, to eat your vegetables on Disney. Anyways. Okay, French onion soup. We already know how this tastes. We've been on Disney like a million times. A little too much Worcestershire sauce. Whatever that word is. But overall, pretty solid. It's also a little too salty, but overall not bad. It'll be really good with the bread. You got the duck confit. We know what this tastes like as well. I kind of forgot how much of a habit I fell into with Disney, because I get the same thing. Which, <laughs> admittedly, I think we've made fun of Dory for getting the same thing, but we do the same thing. Like, we get the same thing anyways. But ours is not mac and cheese. That, that it looks like... Dinner. That looks like a solid mac and cheese. Like I'm. It is a solid mac and cheese. If I could, if I could, if I could have, yeah. Bad. I wish I could have mac and cheese. Anyways, duck confit. The same as last time. Well, for anyone who hasn't seen our channel before, it's great. If you like duck, fantastic. It's shredded, put together. That's what duck confit is. I like it. Alrighty, I got the salmon royale. Um, one of my favorite things to order in. Well, Royal Palace, or is it Royal Court, or is it Triton's, or is it Lumiere's? I don't know. Fantastic salmon. I ordered three salmon today because I had the smoked salmon off camera, the salmon salad, and now the salmon royale. You must like salmon. To be fair, we haven't really eaten salmon like at all this trip. Yeah, it's like the first time, like, in the entire time, like, that I've had salmon, maybe, like, one other time. So, second time I've had salmon. Like, 12 days in. I like it. What can I say? I'm like, but is it good? It's great. I got the Chateaubriand, which is steak. You know how many times I've ordered that and have failed to say the name of it? Like, I'm just thinking back on it. I always get that. I never, well, not always, but I've gotten it twice. I always fail to get the name. I'm gonna be honest, I almost said beef tenderloin and I heard Dory was silent. And I heard Dory's voice in my head saying Chateaubriand. <laughs> this is so tender and so flavorful. I think this is one of the first time that we actually got the zoo with it. Nonetheless, like on the first night kind of thing. It's really good. The the sauce is super super good. It's really delicious. And I love mashed potatoes, so I just want to try these on camera. That is so good. I love it. I'm gonna enjoy this. We got dessert and it didn't take, it took what, maybe five minutes? Yes. It did not take forever and it actually looks amazing. They made me this amazing brownie something with ice cream. I knew they could do it. I knew they could do it. I just, let's just take a bite. Oh, it's like one of those brookies where it's like a brownie and cookie. It's gonna be amazing. It's amazing. It is cold. I do like it when it's warmed up first. I feel like it looks better than it tastes. Oh. 
It is so good. Don't listen to her. This is amazing. Sure, it's allergy friendly, but it's better than sorbet. And we are done with Royal Palace for dinner. Royal Palace for dinner was actually a huge success. But like with even without pre-ordering, we were still able to get everything that we wanted, including a delicious dessert. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. That's all I wanted. It was a brownie cookie brookie thing with ice cream. It's all I ever want with my entire life. It's nice to walk out of the main dining room smiling. Smiling. When Lunch happens, was a bad experience, but we shook that off yep. and dinner has definitely made up for it. We already pre-ordered for tomorrow. I am so excited. I know it's gonna be spectacular. We also pre-ordered our lunch on the island, which just gives me, oh, Cinderella, which just gives me so much insurance. Like, like we'll, we'll get good food. We'll be taken care of all day tomorrow. I'm so excited. What are we doing now? I see some princesses. They're still doing photos. Do we hang out here? I don't know. I don't know. What are you doing? ghosting me. <laughs> that today. Yes. It is now like 12.20 and we are ready to go to sleep. Tomorrow's castaway key. We stayed up way past our bedtimes. Mm -hmm. We haven't unpacked a single mm -hmm. thing. Have you noticed? We didn't, we always unpack. We didn't do that. I don't think we're doing it tonight, which is a mess because we have a lot of stuff we gotta unpack. <sighs> Why did we do this? Where I don't know. Was? Yeah. There was no downtime. Disney is just go, 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 and I love it. I mean, you can make downtime if you want, but we love doing everything and like running around, and we were running around the atrium earlier. I'm so tired. I ran back to the room like five times today. Overall, Disney Dream had a rough start, but it did recover. It is getting it better. It kind of teetered a little bit. I mean, we could, we could. We're like, um, mm -hmm. like it's like a, on the midpoint, we could go one way or another. It could go either way. It could fall. Yeah, but Poorly I mean, we've been fall, having right. fun. Dinner we've was good. Great. I think dinner will get better because we now that we pre-ordered. The first day is always the rough mm -hmm. one. But all considered, they actually handled it very well mm -hmm. for dining. Entertainment's still great on board Disney. Amazing. We do <gasps> love it. The show was the amazing. The trivias are kind of funky. Yeah, we don't actually, don't actually, let me, let me scratch that. The trivias, for as far as entertainment is concerned, the trivias are really weird. They have multiple choice and they're super easy. Five families, like each trivia that, that has like win. all the answers correct. Like that's, that's not supposed to happen. I don't the know. winner is supposed to have like 23 out of 25. Yeah, it should be a challenge. Disney yes. Dream with multiple choice, it just, I don't know. Anyways, that's our complaint for the day. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be Castaway Key. Check out tomorrow's video as soon as it comes out. I'm sorry we whispered this entire ending. Um, right. Check out goodmorningadventure.com. <laughs> Check out Castaway video as soon as it comes out. And as always, this is no goodbye, but just I'll, I'll see, see you real, real soon. soon.